Hi, my name is Julie Reif, and I wanted to cover a few questions that I get from a lot of new Spiros. On most of our guns, they come with a double wrap, but our Mahogany Competitor Series comes with a single wrap. This is our Competitor Series Mahogany uh, gun. This gun comes standard with a Hawaiian flopper shaft, two power bands, and a single wrap of line. And how you know it's a single wrap of line is it goes around the line release one time and it's connected to the five inch bungee shock cord, which is also anchored to the gun at our line anchor. When engaging the shaft, you wanna make sure your shooting line and tail end of your shaft go through the power band and down. I usually grab the track and the shaft at the same time so it stays in place. And when you bring the, sh the shaft to your trigger mechanism, a lot of people make the mistakes of slamming, slamming, slamming into the mechanism, and that's actually um, not very good for the trigger mechanism. Um, the proper way of engaging it is a firm grip, put it into the trigger mechanism, and a firm push, and it clicks right into place, no problem. You can hit that sear all day long, and it can just damage the spring or the sear. So you want to do a firm grip, push it in until you feel it click, and want to make sure your safety is on fire, not on safe, before loading your mechanism. Once you cross the line over the muzzle, you're going to take your finished wrap to the line release, and you're needing to grab a little of the bungee cord and stretch it down to hook it on your line release, which gives tension on your shooting line. So here's your finished wrap on your Mahogany Series competitor gun. This is our Euro series spear gun uh, made out of teak. And this gun comes standard with a Hawaiian flopper shaft and two 5 8 diameter bands. This gun is also rigged with the double wrap of shooting line. And you can see it comes around the line release two times. When wrapping your double wrap on your Euro series spear gun, you wanna put the shaft in the trigger again it's gonna go around the plate, over the shaft, down the groove, and around the line release. Then you're gonna anchor it off at the line anchor, which is here, and back down to the line release. So this is your double wrap. And don't forget, I always grab that, oops, wrong end, grab the bungee to stretch it on your line release. What's nice about uh, your double wrap of line versus a single wrap is the double wrap is obviously going to give you more distance. And with that, uh, the Euro gun comes set up with 5 8 diameter bands, so that's bigger rubbers, and it gives a little more power. On the competitor series, we have two 9 16 bands. What you could do as an upgrade is give it an extra wrap and a third power band, and that is. Um, a better setup for longer shots and a little more power to keep that shaft planing for full distance and accuracy. I get a lot of questions regarding um, power and rigging and one of them is a very common question about power and how many bands they can put on or the bands are too hard to load. For me, I prefer three 9 16 bands on a Euro gun. Not only do I get a little more power out of the gun, but they are a bit easier to load. This actually only works on the large standard shark fin tabs, not the mini tabs, because they only accept one band per tab. Some people like to mix and match the bands as well, and that's okay. Another common question I get um, regarding loading is sometimes there's more than two bands on the gun, three bands, some people put four, and there's only two or three shark fin tabs on the shaft. You can actually double up the bands on tabs, but the proper way of loading would be the bottom band first going to your closest tab. So it's best to load them in that accordion effect, accordion, um, first to last, and the bottom to the top. So uh, pulling those back in that order is the best results, um, but these tabs can take up to three bands. It's tight, but it fits. On our spear shafts, most of them come with our large tabs, on the Competitor Series and the Euro Series, you'll get two tabs. On a, our other bigger guns, they do come stock with three and our Blue Water guns, four. We also offer our mini tabs and they come with two tabs on a shaft. 
These tabs can only accept one ban per tab because they are so low profile. And these tabs were designed for Euro-style spear guns and some closed muzzle guns. And uh, these are great shafts for that purpose. When using an enclosed track gun, the mini tabs are not accepted in that style gun because we crimped the shooting line to the end of the mini tab shafts and the enclosed track, it would be in the way, the line. So the large tabs are what comes stock with that and the line gets crimped through the tab. I have another common question and it's the quick disconnect of the shaft from the gun. Say you have a fish and he's on the shooting line and you're jumping in the boat because you're so excited. Um, you can undo the pigtail swivel of your shooting line and take your fish right off the line. And make sure you swivel it back on right away because the last thing you want to do is drop your shaft or line in the water. <laughs> My favorite question I get is, how do you remove your big bluefin tuna from your slip tip? And it could be any fish at that, but this is my little fish, we'll call him Swimmy. And your slip tip is going to shoot the fish all the way through, because you're gonna get a nice, good, accurate shot. And then the fish is gonna take off and your tip is gonna toggle and you now have your slip tip on your fish how to disengage this slip tip out of your fish and there's a big reason for this ring line assembly you bring your slip tip point to the ring and once you have that on there your tip and your fish come right out and your fish is ready to be eaten <laughs> the ring line on the slip tips are very important on the loop slide ring it is um, very important to keep this on your gun because you need this to either tuck in your power bands or your shooting line to keep that tension on your tip so it doesn't fall off when you're swimming. The tandem slide ring um, is a little different. We still use this to remove the fish, but uh, the tandem slide ring, we use the cable to tuck that in your power bands for tension.